I start most Mondays with packing and shipping. I try to get it all out of the way by noon and then hopefully from noon on I can start working on design work which will be next week's project. This is the table that I do all my packing at and I've designed most of the small work that I make to fit either in a flat rate envelope or a flat rate box. I've cut a box so I basically have a portfolio here that measures 11 and a half by 9 and I'll put the artwork in the portfolio with a piece of computer paper over each piece and these pieces measure 8 by 10 and the reason for that is that way they can fit into a standard size frame and then this is a, a printout there's the barn this is one of the paintings that I've made and usually I'll write a little note in there put it in an envelope piece of tape and then this fits into the flat rate envelope for one of the small paintings I start out with a piece of this foam or sometimes I'll use a piece of bubble wrap I generally will recycle whatever's been shipped to me and just a piece of tape there and then I like to use a piece of cardboard for a little insurance and wrap that over and just bend these sides down So I always use newspaper because I just don't like those those peanuts. The only time I'll use peanut peanuts is if I'm recycling them from something that was shipped to me. Now this this one's also getting prints. So then I would take the prints, put them in a in a, another envelope like this, and also sneak that inside the box. And then that's it. So that's pretty simple. And that was a big uh, part of my thinking when I was trying to come up with something that I could make that would both be affordable and easy to ship. It took me a little while though because originally I was making something that was a little bit bigger and it wouldn't fit into the box. And then I had to buy boxes and that was just another expense and another hassle. So eventually I started to make things that not only would fit into a box but like with the prints would also fit into a standard size frame and sort of that's kind of the business end of art you have to think that way because everything takes time and it's amazing if you don't have a good system you could spend all day packing things and uh, with my larger paintings I still have to do things like make crates but uh, for the majority of the work that I ship it's small paintings that will fit into this box okay I'll see you next time